हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी टॉक अबाउट हाउ डिजिटल बुक प्रिंटिंग मशीन वर्क एंड प्रीवियस वीडियो आई आई डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ऑफसेट प्रिंटिंग एंड डिजिटल प्रिंटिंग एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू एन ओवरव्यू हाउ डिजिटल बुक प्रिंटिंग वर्क एंड वॉट आर द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ मशीन सो इफ यू आर लुकिंग इफ यू आर समन हु इज लुकिंग टू दे स्टार्ट देर प्रिंटिंग बिजनेस दिस वीडियो विल बी यूजफुल फॉर यू एंड इफ यू आर समन इफ यू आर एन ऑथर इफ यू आर सेल्फ पब्लिश ऑथर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट योर बुक प्रिंटेड so this concept or this video will give you some clarity on how the whole process work how the digital printing business works and how the digital printing business uh, the machines work and which one will be suitable for you because eventually if you are looking to main pro main objective is if you are a printer you want to sell a printed book and if you are a consumer you want your book to be printed in a using a, such a technology which will give you the best quality because you want your books to last longer you want the quality to be much much better so i'll be talking about that in details so here you can see uh this is a printing machine this is primarily a flex printing machine uh, which is uh, which is also a digital printing machine and before getting into the all the details let me just give you a brief introduction about myself i am ambarishna i am the founder of kitablin and uh, this is our website and uh, at kitablin what we do is we provide printing publishing and we also help you with selling the book and destroying the book so if you are looking to get your book printed and sell sell it online we can definitely help you with that and if you want to uh, you know explore all the services that we provide you can definitely check our website if you want to talk to us for any kind of help or any kind of query please whatsapp us on the number given on the screen itself or you can click here it will take you and connect you with our team and we prefer to talk via call so you can definitely call us between 3 pm to 6 pm uh, indian standard time and we'll be more than happy to help you out so let's get started so first of all we need to understand and i already explained what is the objective and what is the use of digital book printing machine so digital primarily digital book printing is primarily for short run or we also call it pod that is print on demand so whenever there is a demand whenever there is an order you can get it printed so the quantity can be one piece to 200 piece to 300 piece so primarily this is very good for uh, if you are looking to get 500 less than 500 pieces so digital printing is a very good option although the initial cost the initial cost will be higher and near about double uh, the cost of offset printing but still uh, it will save you a lot of headache and a lot of time because when you are printing 500 to 1000 books it is better to go for offset printing because then uh, you are going to get better cost but if you are looking to print one piece 10 piece 200 piece or maybe 150 piece it is better to go for digital printing because uh, it will help you save capital it will help you save capital and also in digital printing as well there are two different technologies which are there uh, one technology i'll just mention one technology is primarily laser printing another technology is inkjet printing so you will see in market most of the machines they are using laser printing technology where uh, powder powder ink is primarily fused it is heated and fused onto the paper and uh, when you are fusing and when you are heating and fusing the ink onto the paper then it is shiny that is the reason why uh, the customers prefer laser printing although over a period of time the ink might fade off the ink might come come out and uh, there you know it might form a kind of uh, you know little bit uh, you know particles and it might uh, get deteriorated and if you are looking for long term storage long term storage or if you are looking to print for archive if you are printing for archiving it then inkjet printing is better option because uh, it is it is using tiny droplets of liquid ink it is directly uh, transferred onto paper it is primarily focused on uh, long term storage long term storage and it is also cost effective uh, it is near about similar to offset printing as well but the quality there is no shine in inkjet printing you need to understand this in inkjet printing there won't be any kind of shine it will be kind of a matte finish but if you are looking for a glossy finish then if you are looking for glossy finish then laser printing is the way to go this is the basic difference uh, you, when we are using offset printing then yes uh we use liquid ink but in uh, you know digital printing as well there are two existing technologies one is laser printing one is uh, inkjet printing and typically most of the people prefer this because it gives you a very shiny and very good finish so i hope you have understood this there are basically two types of uh, technology which is existing here and again uh, i have uh, you know done a lot of comparison study here in our previous video as well so comparison with offset printing digital uh, you know digital printing uses toner inkjet offset uses only liquid ink with plates and it is very cheap and the quality is much better and the, it is a different kind of ink that is used here and also to uh, laminate uh, a lot of printers what they do is they use uv lamination 
uv lamination so i will not get into so much of technical details but overall uh, we have option of uh, using laser jet machine or inkjet machine when we are using uh, digital printing and only uh, when we are using offset we only have one option that is liquid ink okay and flexibility i have already discussed that digital is better for small runs and offset is very good for bulk and space and skills as i mentioned earlier uh, you need a lot of space and a lot of technical knowledge to operate a offset printing machine but digital printing machine uh, it's very simple and easy you can if you, if you know basic computer then you can easily operate a digital printing machine so this is how it looks this is a very high end this is what we call a production level printer and i will also cover the different types and the different levels of digital printers which are available in the market okay i hope you have understood and also there is this concept that uh, the digital printing machines typically use sheet fed the, these are sheet fed and uh, the offset printing machine typically they are roll fed that means that you have to put you know square or rectangular sheets onto the digital printing machine so it can print and you will see that uh, paper roll are used to print uh, you know newspaper machine those are offset printing machine in offset printing machine typically roll to sheet or roll to roll you know rolls are paper rolls are primarily used there so that is the basic difference okay so what is the workflow so how does it work so this is this workflow is very very important you need to understand this uh, so you can figure out okay what is the workflow and how the book printing process works using digital printing machine this is applicable for both offset printing process as well so there is this pre press press and post press that is what we call post press this is press this is pre press pre press primarily means before printing so if someone is asking you what is pre press that is before printing all the preparation that needs to be done that is preparing the digital file uh, imposing the file making sure that the layout is correct and when it is printed there is no error there is no color error so that is what we call pre press okay i hope you have understood next is press or printing so in this in this uh, in this stage what we do is we print the product we print the paper pre we print on the paper so it can be web fed or it can be street fed uh, sheet fed so in digital printing machine so it is typically sheet fed you uh, put paper into the printing machine and then you uh, send the file the print file to the printer and it starts printing so it can be color print it can be black and white as well so this is the printing part then after printing what we do is we do binding we do cutting or trim the book right then we pack the book then we ship the book that is falling under finishing or post press so that is why you will see pre press machines post press machine and these are the three stages these are the three stages of printing of book printing the, these are the three stages of book printing if somebody is asking you explain and everything this is kind of a course for you so this is the basic difference between uh, uh, this is the basic layout of pre press post press and uh, you know printing the press part okay i hope you have understood and uh, i have already explained this so the main problem with offset printing is the cost of the machine so if you want to buy a four color heidelberg or hidelberg machine then it is near about four to eight crore rupees and used you can buy for 50 lakh to one crore and in this situation if you want to buy a production printer digital printer that then it will the color one will cost you around a 14 lakh rupees and black and white will cost you around eight lakh rupees production printer means it is primarily used for large scale, large, uh, large scale printing. So, more than ten to twenty thousand pages per day. That is the approximate volume. So, there are different types of, uh, as I mentioned, small machine, production machine. So, that is the basic difference. I hope you are able to figure out and you are able to understand what I'm trying to say here. So, now I'm going to discuss uh, the different types of printing machine. I hope you have understood the basic difference. Uh, of uh, between digital printing machine and offset printing machine and now i'm going to explain you what are what are the different types of uh, digital printing machine so first is low end machine the small printer machine that you are able to buy a home use machine it can be brother b2000d it can be hp inkjet machine small machine which cost you around 13000 rupees uh, 20000 rupees or 6000 rupees those are the machines those are small uh, you know low end machines and they are primarily good for you know a small scale operation or maybe you are printing 100 pages a day that for that that is perfectly fine next if you want to scale up then there is mid-range 
that is what we call multifunction printers or the xerox machines that you see in your local uh, xerox shop so those are called multifunction uh, function printers and they have a scanner they have a scanner at the top of the machine so those are the multifunction printers they can handle volume of around 1000 to 2000 or 3000 uh, 3000 pages a day and then we come to production printers so these are primarily for high production that is if you are looking to uh, print 10,000 pages or 20,000 pages. So in this situation, you need production printer and after that uh, when your volume increases Then you go for offset then you go for offset. This is how it works. This is how the scale works in this industry So as I mentioned earlier the cost uh, is very important and if you are starting the business uh, It is better to buy a new machine rather than a refurbished machine or what we call RC machine so RC machine or refurbished machine are those machines which are used. These are second-hand machines. If you have basic knowledge of uh, you know how a, a printer works and if you can operate by yourself or if you can fix by yourself, then it is advisable to go for a RC machine. So if you are starting out a new business, printing business, it is better to buy a new machine rather than a RC machine. But because you need technical knowledge to operate and uh, if there is an issue with the RC machine, you can fix it. So again, uh, for clarity, I am giving you another example. So if you are starting into your business, then low end machine will work. If you are looking to increase your volume, maybe 3000 pages per day, then uh, multifunction printer works really well. Konica 225i is a very good example. Uh, there is Kayo Sera, I think 4.5 something series uh, that is also there. It will cost you around 1 lakh rupees, 1 to 2 lakh rupees. The uh, small Entry level will cost you around 13,000 rupees to 20,000 rupees. At the production for machine will cost you, the new one will cost you more than uh, 8 lakh rupees, 8 to 15 lakh rupees. Depending on what kind of, uh, you know, printing you are going to do. So this is very good for large scale, high volume printing. So these are the stuff which you need to keep in mind. And again, I already discussed the type of uh, technology that is used in digital book printing. And that's about it so this is the basic difference between uh, the different types of the different types of digital printing machine digital book printing machine and i hope you are able to you have been able to figure out okay how it works and what are the things that you have to keep in mind so if you are just starting out as i mentioned earlier this is how it works i hope this video was helpful uh it might be a little bit you know confusing but because i have used a lot of technical terms but trust me this is very simple and if you have any question or queries please watch this video again and i think it will give you a lot of clarity this blog post is there on our website you can go and check it out and if you have any question or queries please ask me in the comment section below and i'll be more than happy to help you out and that's about it for today's video if you want to get your book printed please visit our website for more details thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next video bye